Employees and supporters of GM Lordstown rally outside the plant, even as the very last of the locally built Chevy Cruises leaves the assembly line. A day that in the plant's 53 years, nobody ever thought they would see. It's been a gut-wrenching day today. Very emotional. People are crying. I followed the car through the trim department, and um, it's just emotional, right? I mean, and, and I think people understand that it's emotional. When I was in there this morning, you know, walking the lot, the last car, the emotions, you know, people coming up to you and crying on your shoulder, you know, don't know what to do, you know, where do we go next? And, you know, you, you want to remain positive. At the United Auto Workers Local 1112, a transition center is open trying to help the plant's 1,400 employees land somewhere. Even if they're transferring within GM, the choices are not easy. Very personal decision for a lot of people. You know, it just kind of depends on, um, you know, what their family life is like and what they're willing and willing, you know, not willing to do. The plant's closing generating grassroots support within the local community and well beyond. Supporters from activist groups in Washington joining in during Wednesday's rally. These are good union jobs. They pay 30, 35 bucks an hour. Workers have health care. They have retirement. What are the options? Go to McDonald's, work for $7.25. Go to a hospital, work for minimum wage, right? Many here are gambling that political support, union support, and the history and commitment of the Lordstown workforce will help lure General Motors to bring another vehicle back. Even to that last car, our members have, have, have exceeded, right? We're Instead of Friday, we're finishing Wednesday. This is because our workers are just that damn good, that they've done such a great job. They've exceeded production goals. They've exceeded quality goals. They've done everything that's been asked of them. And... Um, it's and now they're you know they're putting their tools down for the last time and they're sad